it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me that much and i get from your touch a little closer to heaven so this reading is for stephanie hi stephanie so stephanie says um okay i've gotten so much oh right oh that's really nice i've gotten so much listening to the other readings too there's always something in them that touches me Oh, that's lovely. And I really feel that that's great for everyone because, you know, if you're listening and this isn't necessarily your reading, there I'm receiving a lot of guidance and channeling and really lovely stuff from my guides. It's just coming through, you know, in the context of each individual reading, but a lot of it can be applied to a lot of our lives as light workers. It's just that the specific advice and some of the dates and some of the information is for the person who's reading it is but I'm glad you've said that Stephanie because that's a really good point and I'm really pleased if that's the case okay and um, then you go on and you say I felt guided to be in my present career um, once again let me just set the clock um, okay um, once again um, I right I felt guided to be in my present career once again and have fallen short of my financial needs am i in the correct calling and if so do i move more into alignment or am i blocking my good somehow i have done and been many things in life and often had to quit or change for someone else now i want to stay in this for me if it's my soul's in my soul's best interest and that of the world right okay um Right, Stephanie, so many great questions in there. So many great questions that are universal, you know, to a lot of light workers at the moment. And, um, you know, including, oh, sorry, just checking the camera, including myself and many that I know. And um, what, what I'm going to say to you is this. Here are some of the things that really stood out for me just in your question. Um, where you say, um, I want to stay in this for me, okay? I think that is really important. If you want to stay doing that, stay doing it, stick with it, don't give up. Just do more, take more action, because I really feel that that's important, especially as you say that you haven't really done what you wanted to do and you've been sort of thrown off course many, many times before. This is a time now, the time that we're in, this particular era in our awakening, this is a very important time when a lot of us are doing just that, recognising exactly, oh, ah, I see, that's what it is. That's what I came here to do. That's where all of this has been leading. That's what all these little bits and pieces, you know, where they all fit together. That's what the soul that I've been becoming in this lifetime was trying to get me to do. So stick with it, don't give up. I would say do more of it, take more action. I feel there are more actions you could take. And I know that you're working hard, I can feel it because they're giving me this vibration of, you know, a lot of activity. But I feel what you need to do is to sit and get quiet with yourself and allow inspiration to come in so that they will give you more ideas about what, how to promote what you do. OK, the ideas are there kind of hovering in the in the vicinity. I'm hearing they're there. But with sometimes with too much activity, there isn't enough time to stop and think things through. A lot of really great people who achieve incredible things will just take a whole day off, like once a month or something to just think, just think. And OK, we don't all, <laughs> you know, we don't all have a whole day to just sit thinking. But I have to tell you that meditation for the purpose of receiving inspiration, you know, you can ask your guides, please inspire me. Um, please inspire me with, with the right actions, words, um, ideas, and then you can sit in meditation. Or you can just say, right, I'm going to spend a few hours noodling and doodling and, and thinking and seeing what comes through. That's what I feel is missing for you, that you're kind of like... Um, they're showing me a dog chasing its tail. <laughs> I'm not saying that you're anything, there's anything canine about you at all, but that's the image that I'm seeing. And I'm hearing round and round, round and round, round and round in circles. And I feel a lot of your life has been like that, round and round in circles, just jumping, 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 and not having time to stop and think. So carve out that time for yourself. If you do spend time, you know, listening to the TV or the radio or any of those things for leisure purposes, I would suggest that you 
cut them out for a couple of weeks and use that time as thinking time. See it as an adventure and sit and make notes and just, you know, really get into, okay, what more could I be doing? And if you do have to do an extra thing as well on the side until this starts to build a bit more, then totally go for that. Don't see that as a negative thing and do not see it as a failing because it isn't. Sometimes that's just practical. I am not seeing, sensing or feeling anything that tells me that what you're doing is out of alignment, okay? Um, the only thing that feels slightly out of alignment is the fact that you're asking me whether you're in alignment. That concerns me slightly. So I'm going to pull three cards on that. So let's look at past, present, future, and uh, what can what is the advice that Stephanie needs to take in order to succeed in this current path or to gain wisdom about what's not quite clicking so past you're being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results so you had some help getting to this point and this is one of the things they want you to note and to remember and to be aware of that this didn't happen I'm hearing freakishly it happened almost frequent freakishly that you came to this understanding or this opportunity that this was what you wanted to do and they want you to trust that you're still being helped okay blessed change right so it's a change that represents freedom is what I'm hearing it represents freedom from you for you um, in many, many ways. Freedom from things that were stifling you, holding you back, restricting you. And now you're beginning to question your own judgment about letting go of some of those things. And was it the right thing? And did I, you know, am I, you know, all of that stuff, all of those doubts. And they're saying it's still looking good, but it's just, and I'm looking at this and they're kind of pointing, bringing my attention to the fact that this mermaid kind of looks as if she's on her head. Well, that's fine because she's a mermaid, she's underwater, she's, she's happy, she's smiling, it's all okay. Um, for us, it's not always so good. But I just feel like the message here is, in this particular reading, that even though it feels as if your world has been turned on its head to some extent, I feel like there's been something else that's gone with this, like, you know, maybe a house move or, or something, some change, some other changes around your relationship or something like that. Even though it looks as if things have been turned upside down, you can still smile because, you know, you're okay. You're, you're okay in the environment that you're in. You are going to learn to swim, okay? You are going to learn to swim and then you're going to see the sense in all of it. There's still light there. There's always light there. And, you know, there is every opportunity for you if you just reach out and grab those opportunities and do some thinking that broadens your perspective and gives you new insights and inspirations as to how to make it happen. They're saying, don't spend your time asking whether it's right ask yourself how can I make this happen in the way that I want it to okay try not to second guess yourself too much when you really truly commit things will start moving again okay now what are you moving into if you take that on board and you start to put some huge action behind what you're doing where are you going divine magic perfect absolutely perfect we often make the mistake of thinking that all we have to do is to get into alignment and that's not necessarily the case because quite often what we're doing is even when we're imagining, visualising, thinking things through, planning, you know, grafting things out, the energy isn't moving through us because, you know, if you sit around doing anything for too long, they become, they, you know, you can become stagnant. You can, you can experience a stagnation that is not conducive to manifesting and creating new energy, new opportunities, new possibilities and new success that can come from that energization. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm going to go with it. So... I'm feeling that what you need to do is to re-energise everything with new ideas, new input and, and then go back to your drawing board and think, well, yes, this could work and yes, that could work and, and get really excited and then take the actions and then see where they go and then come back to the drawing board and think, right, yes, this could work, yes, that could work. Sorry, Stephanie, I had to go and change my uh, memory card. Right, okay, so where were we? Where are you going um, if everything... 
uh, what's your advice? Your advice for how to continue? Um, have faith. Your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance. So you're going to need to tune in and get that guidance and, um, and when you do receive it, follow it and trust. Keep trusting, keep walking that path and keep trusting. Okay, I hope that helps you and now um, I'm not sure what's happening about the timings. But um, yes, I think there's enough there for you. Come. I mean, you know, I hope there's enough to kind of answer the question and it does kind of feel fairly complete. But do come back to me um, if you want to ask anything else. If you'd like to book a fuller reading, just click on the link below the video and um, yeah, find, find me there on my website. OK, take care. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you I feel a little closer to heaven. Yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to him.